Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark Scheme. So last weekend I went out to Thunder Hill Raceway. Uh, I wasn't really prepared for, well, I was prepared, but I got too excited and I completely forgot to videotape a bunch of stuff there. So I figured I'd at least talk to you guys about it. Uh, I went with a different group than I went with the last time. This was actually my second time to the track. Uh, I'm gonna actually say that I liked this group a little bit better than I did the other group that I went with. Uh, a couple of things that I liked better was that this one they actually let me have a passenger. Uh, the last one, the only person that was allowed to ride with me was the coach, which I greatly enjoyed having the coach with me. Actually, it was they're there to teach you how to drive the track and how to you know where to brake, where to accelerate, how to take a corner, how to pass people. It was a great experience. Um, but now that I got that one out of the way, this one was a little bit nicer. Of like a, I could learn to drive the track myself and not actually you know have somebody telling me what to do it's a little different driving around it's nice for the coaching but i think you do also have to have some individual time by yourself to be able to drive around and you know figure out the track and see how it feels and then later on i do plan on getting another coach or go back out with the original group that way you know i've done what i can do and then now i can see what they can do to help me get better uh, the guy i rode with was actually one of the faster guys out there um, I was in group one which is like the basic beginner group and then he was actually doing the time attack out there and he got first in his class if I remember correctly and he also drove a BMW but he drove an M3 and where I just have the 335i the only downside I thought to the group that I went out with this time was they should have made two group ones or green group which I was in there was just too many people in the group and you know with a bunch of new drivers on the track for the first time there was a lot of traffic as you can see so there's a few times that i got stuck in traffic and when you're stuck in traffic it's kind of boring because you've got somebody in the front who you know they're scared it's the first time out i understand but they also forget and they get tunnel vision and they they're supposed to be letting you pass on the straightaways that way you know the faster cars can get by and enjoy themselves so as you got into the different groups, there was different levels of passing. In my group, you were only allowed to pass if somebody let you pass, and it was only during straightaways. And then as you progress through the groups and have more experience, you start to be able to pass anywhere you want as long as they let you. And then in the top class, you could pass wherever you want as long as you felt they, that you felt it was a safe place to pass. Now there were a couple of cool cars out at the track. Um, one of them is actually one of my dream cars. It's an Ariel Atom. It's made in England, I believe. I got to take a little bit of a look at it, and it was kind of neat to see one in person. Uh, I've never actually seen one driving around. I've seen like glances of one on a trailer pass by me before, but this is the first time I've actually like get to walk up and see one and actually see it driving around, and it is quite an amazing looking car uh, I guess it depends on preference most people remember it from watching Top Gear when Jeremy Clarkson got his face all almost blown off driving it around which was kind of a funny video so somebody brought out an old stock car uh, which you know I didn't know that you could well actually I didn't know you could buy one but I've never actually seen anybody that purchased one or drove one around other than you know to do NASCAR or whatever you want to do keep it in your collection so it was nice to actually see one out racing around it was probably one of the best sounding cars out there honestly <laughs> remember exactly what it is but somebody made a car and it's like I guess it's a kit car of some kind um, they actually rent them out there I believe it was somewhere around 1200 bucks for the day when we took a look I wouldn't mind driving one around but I was a little bit out of my price range for what I want to pay to go drive a car on the track but I'm hoping that price includes insurance and everything which is a little bit more understandable if it does uh, my girlfriend got this pretty cool picture of it towards the end of the day So and then here I'll I'll post a little sign that they had here if you guys want to read what it is or go to their website and check it out It's pretty cool Now this car did run in my group, but I'm not sure exactly I never saw it on the track I just know it was in my group and I saw it get on the track 
So I don't know if it was fast or not. I would guess so as a track car. Or I believe it's just a track car. I don't know if you can rent these things out and drive them on the road. I'm a little bit curious on that. It'd be kind of neat if you could. So the last time I went to the track, um, we did it the, actual, the normal direction, which is counterclockwise. Uh, this time we actually went the opposite direction and we went clockwise around the track, which I actually kind of liked it. I thought I wouldn't like it at first, but it was like driving a whole new track. So it's kind of like a new experience from the last time that I went out to drive. Now you can see here in the clip that I was following an Audi S5 around the track. Um, it was quite a close match. So we ended up driving the whole track either behind each other or in front of each other. Uh, I was in front of him at first, but he was on my tail, so I figured I'd let him pass. After I let him pass, I followed him around the whole track, and we were pretty evenly matched. I was looking at buying an S5 or an S4 uh, before I bought the 335. Now, I ended up just kind of, you know, searching around on Craigslist, and I found this one posted, and it was kind of exactly what I was looking for, other than I do want an all-wheel drive. This is a two-wheel drive version, but just... I don't really need all-wheel drive all the time, but it does snow here in Reno. So it would be nice to have the all-wheel drive version. But I do have my other car and truck just for driving around in the snow, so I'm not too worried about it. This, I can still drive it like 10 months out of the year. So here's a little clip I put together of uh, one of the laps I did. It's actually kind of a combination of a couple laps. I don't have enough GoPros to do all these different angles with but one day I do plan on getting a couple more GoPros. That way I can do different angles of the same lap. That way it looks a little better. But I try to edit it as best as I could. So here you guys go. So I'm not really sure what my times were so I can't really compare them to all the upgrades that I did now plus also we did a we went backwards on the track so it's really hard to compare your times I know it'd be pretty close um, I did compare my times to everybody else that was racing and the guys that were actually doing the time attack now I ran
ran a 133. Uh, the fastest guy out there, I believe, ran a 126. So I am, I do need a few more mods before I can start competing in the time attack class. Uh, they do have pretty much just race cars. They are gutted and have all kinds of aero, which I don't have, and some better tires. Hey guys, if you like what you saw, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, the next time I post a video, you guys will know. And leave your comments down below. Let me know what you like and what you don't like. Let me know what you want to see. And you can follow me on Instagram. I'll post a link down below. And I'll see you guys next video. Yeah.